Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back y'all, I missed y'all and I know y'all missed me because a lot of you guys were checking on me and I appreciate that so much, okay? So let me let you guys know where I have been. I went down to Macon, I live in Atlanta and I went down to Macon to spend some time with my sister and my niece and it was much needed time. I needed a little vacay so I just took me a little mini, you know, short little time away and um, I had a wonderful time talking with my sister, bonding with her, laughing, crying, we did everything, we covered a lot and so you guys, I just want to say that uh, use this time in quarantine and this time of the way things are to spend as much time as you can with your loved ones and your family because you really don't know when's the last time is going to be and so I don't want to waste any time okay so I will be spending more time with my sister and I'm going to make sure that I get I make the time to spend with my loved ones more okay because when you get so busy and the uh, what busy means as far as we talk about on my bible study classes being under Satan's yoke, okay? So if you're so busy that you can't enjoy the people that you love, then you're too busy and you need to slow down and take time to enjoy the people that you love, okay? And that's just my little tidbit of inspiration for the day, all right? So y'all, if you're interested in this wig that I am wearing, this is a favorite of mine, okay? This is an Outre unit as well. This is um, the Outre 204 in the color Ginger Brown. If you guys haven't seen me review this unit on the channel, then please go check that out because this unit is bomb. Um, as you can see, I think this color is very pretty and Outre has been knocking it out of the park with these wigs and these colors, y'all. So I'm here for it. I'm here for all of it, okay? So you guys, that's enough of that. And so now we're gonna get into the review. Now I'm excited about this wig review that I have for y'all today because I had a request, a couple requests actually, for the unit as well as, and I knew that I was gonna pick it up once I saw the reviews on it. I watched several reviews. I cannot remember who I watched right now because it's been maybe two or three weeks ago when I did watch, but I know one of them was Lime Green. I watched Lime Green. Uh, do it on her channel and I also watched I want to say it was uh, Kyra Sean but I'm not sure because I also watched Letitia and I have that one coming as well for you guys but that's another uh, wig from another that's from Sensational this is Outre's moment right now okay so y'all that's enough of that so let's get into it so like I said I'm excited about this wig review today you guys and the wig that I'm bringing you all is Julianne Okay, here is Julianne, y'all, and I have her in the color Chocolate Swirl. As you can see on the box here, a lot of people have been reviewing her in this color, and I absolutely love this color. It's so pretty, y'all. Now, this, of course, is one of the Outre's fully hand-tied 13 by 6 lace wigs, and it has that HD lace, transparent. Now, I'm going to show you guys the lace up against my hand so that you guys can see how it looks as far as on my complexion. You can barely see it right there. So it's blending in pretty good on my complexion. However, I don't know how that's going to translate on camera with the um around my hairline i'm not sure how that's going to be but this is the color of the lace okay so they said it's hd transparent so we got that now this box y'all they improved their boxes they improved their packaging they've had this uh, kind of style sort of like but it was a slide in type of thing it wasn't like a box that you open like this so this packaging is really steady and really good it will be good to store your wig in this packaging okay so let's bring her out honey all right here she is miss julianne okay and y'all um i haven't even cut the card off i did cut the lace off as you could see that's why i was able to show you all that lace but i have not cut the card off so i'm gonna cut that card off now all right and we're gonna get into it Oh, you know what? No, that was off the black one. I didn't cut this lace off. I think I left this lace on because I wanted to show you all how it looked when you first put it on with the lace on, okay? So yeah, I left it on this one, so I'll have to cut it off afterwards, but I will. So you guys, um, let's get into this hairline here. Now this hairline, they said this is supposed to be is pre-plucked. It looks to be pre-plucked to me, but I can tell better once I get the unit on. This is it, of course, in the back. You can see all these pretty, pretty gorgeous curls that Outre did on this unit, y'all. Now, everybody's been talking, and there have been some mixed reviews as far as the size. And I will tell you this much now. The wig is snug. And I mean, it's almost to the point of being tight. I'm a little upset with the Outre for that because I don't understand why they can't get these wig caps right for those of us that have larger heads, okay? And then even for people that have smaller heads, um, I think, like I told you, I watched Lime Green and she has a small head and it was tight on her. So we're gonna see what we're working with here with this, okay? And also, um, 
I'm gonna show you guys the cap construction, of course. Now the cap construction, it says a 13 by six. Here's another gripe that I have with Altre about this unit, okay? Altre, generally when we have the 13 by six, we have more parting space. In other, in other words, the, the lace is extended a little bit more, but this is, it's, you know, it's decent. Don't get me wrong, it's decent, but we, we they have changed the way they do their 13 by sixes. I noticed that. You do have two combs here in the front. You have one comb in the back with your adjustable straps, and it also comes with an additional strap here. Here, and this strap is not adjustable it's just a strap and one thing about these type of straps is that sometimes they'll get really loose and they'll get to where they don't do you any good okay I wish it was adjustable but it's not but that's okay you know sometimes we can't get everything and I wanted to premiere and come on with this unit on because I wanted to see if the texture mimics this okay as well as we were talking about we're all saying that we wanted an outray unit with a frontal and we got it okay so with some parting space so I'm pretty excited about that so I also I'm going to be bringing it to you in two colors I'm going to bring it to you in the ch uh, chocolate swirl as well as the what's the other one is it one or one b as well as a one b okay but the chocolate swirl is going to come first so you guys I'm going to go and put this on and I'll be right back and I'm like I said I'm gonna put it on with the lace on then I'll go back and you know cut the lace off and do it again or I may show you this one with the lace on and then go ahead and do the black one so we'll see I may mix it up a little bit but um you guys stay tuned sit tight okay y'all so I'm back with it on now I just even with the lace on y'all y'all know this is about to be a problem right here okay y'all know this wig is about to slay okay now here is the lace now as you guys can see this lace color and, and I had a time getting this wig on too y'all especially with this lace on so as soon as I cut the lace off I'm definitely going to be trying to see how it's going to look and how it's going to work with that lace off okay now um it's very snug okay but I wanted to leave the lace on so that I could show you guys this hairline and we're gonna see if we think that it's pre-plucked. Now to me, it is pre-plucked, but it could be a little bit better. It kinda has that, eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's just that sometimes they'll end up having that kind of round shape and this is kind of how the, this one is, but I'm not a plucker. I pluck when I, you know, if I need to pluck, I will, but I'm not a plucker on my reviews and stuff like that because I don't know, um, you know, I'm not extremely good at it, so I don't wanna try anything that I'm not good at, okay? at least not until I practice more. But anyway, y'all, um, this hair feels so soft. It's actually softer than the Nisha. It's actually a lot softer because of course the Nisha is to mimic a, um, a natural unit. And I guess in a sense this one is too, but this hair is a lot softer, y'all. But I'm already in love just looking at myself in the mirror uh, with this wig on right now, just like it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this lace off. Matter of fact, you guys, I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut the lace off off camera because I wanna make sure I don't cut into that hairline and I don't trust myself not to do that on camera because I'll be rushing, so I'll be right back, okay? You guys stay tuned. Sit tight. Okay, y'all, so now this wig is about to be a problem. This wig is a problem, y'all. It's a problem. I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all look at how beautiful this wig is. Now, I told you all about the cap construction. The cap construction is snug. However, as I've had it on a while, I don't feel like it's gonna give me a headache and so it feel, it's starting to feel more and more comfortable the more I have it on, okay? Now, um, y'all, this wig got me almost speechless. I'm trying to get myself together. And of course I saw the reviews, but when you see something on yourself, then you have a whole different reaction to it as well. And the girls that I saw did, did this wig did a great job on it. Now, I told y'all about that. Oh Lord, y'all. Okay. I told y'all about this 13 by six. Now I have on my wig grip tonight and I have on my, um, it's my light colored wig grip because I couldn't find my dark one. Okay. So you can see there, but as a matter of fact, that maybe make it easier for you guys to see just how bomb the parting space is on this unit. Okay. You get nothing but net and scalp everywhere you go up in that, between that, when that 13 by six. Okay, look at that y'all. Now as far as the blendability, now where I caught a problem at y'all was trying to blend this lace with my complexion. This HD lace is not 
in our color. It does not fade like how it looked on my hand. Uh, you know, it had a white cast around my forehead up here and I did my best to try to fill it in. It does have baby hair, so you'll be able to camouflage some of that. I use my even spray in medium dark brown. I sprayed this uh, underneath the uh, wig cap and this is really good if you guys, for anybody that's not familiar with that, it's really good. It comes in a lot of different colors so you can fit your complexion, okay? Now, the lace does come ear to ear. As a matter of fact, I have to pull my ears out because it feels a little uncomfortable right there. But it does come all the way down. I'm not gonna glue it down, of course, because like I told y'all, I'm gonna be bringing it to you in the black one as well. So, but it is coming down ear to ear here, okay? Now, as far as the pluckation of it, it could have been better plucked, but this is gonna show you all how this lace blends after I've added tint to it. Before that, it wouldn't look like that. Okay, y'all, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through her and just kind of let her do her thing. Y'all, what in the world? Now, I think earlier what I was saying to you guys, I was saying that we wanted a, an outre unit with a 13 by six. No, we didn't want an outre unit. We wanted an outre Nisha with a 13 by six so that we could have that frontal space and we'll be able to do more with the unit, y'all. What is this here? See, this is uncomfortable right here because it's on my ear. Let me bring it around a little bit, y'all, because I don't want it to be on my ear like that. Y'all, this wig is gorgeous. And this hair texture is very, very, oh, this hair texture is very, very soft. It's actually softer than the Nisha, in my opinion. The Nisha has more of a coarse texture. This right here really has such a soft, natural texture. It actually feels like human hair. And y'all, of course, it looks like human hair. Y'all look at that. Period, period, y'all. Like. Like y'all, I'm I am just like oh our tray is showing out, y'all they showing out. Now let me see if I tuck this a little how this gonna look with a little tuckation. Y'all, oh my goodness. Y'all in this color, now this chocolate swirl, now I am getting some shedding. I'm getting some shedding, but it's very minimal. And I'm letting you guys know that because I do remember when I was cutting the lace off, I kind of went in a little bit deeper because the lace was folding up because it's so soft. It was folding up as I was trying to get it on and it was just messing up and it kept catching up. So I had to go in and cut a little bit more. So I cut it like jam up close. I don't have any more room in there. Now this unit does have baby hairs, y'all. But y'all, they're there, okay? They are there. Like I said, I've combed them up into the unit now. Okay, y'all, so like I said, this color, y'all, this chocolate swirl, y'all, look at that color. This color is absolutely gorgeous. It's like such, it has like a nice little blend. They did an excellent job on the blend. As I told you guys, Altria is knocking it out in the park with these colors. And y'all, do y'all see this wig? Do y'all see how pretty and full and beautiful this wig is? I'm gonna give you guys a 360, but hold up. Hold up, hold up, Altre, what y'all trying to do? I told y'all Altre was gonna get all your coins now. I told y'all that. I tried to tell y'all Altre was coming for your coins. Altre got their foot on your neck. Altre got their foot on everybody's neck with these units. You know what, let me see something here. I had a, no, that's not gonna work. I was gonna put my bobby pin in there because I really don't wanna tack it down, but I really wanna give you guys a good representation of what you're gonna get. But if you do tack it down, this wig is gonna be everything. And like I said, the longer I wear it, the more comfortable she's feeling. I have no issue. Y'all look at that. Now let me flip it over to this side. And the way the hair feels like you're gonna have a good time with this, y'all. Y'all, we're gonna have a good time with this one. Look at her, y'all, look at her. Oh, and see like wild stuff like this. I'll wear my hair like that. I sure will, like I'll wear it wild. I don't have too much of, too much I won't do when it comes down to hair colors and all of that. I'm here for it. Y'all look at this wig. Look at this wig, y'all look at this wig. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, okay. So as you can see, 
as I've said, this wig is everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the black one on so that you guys can see how that one looks. But this is like, I don't know y'all, this is everything. I absolutely love this. I almost don't wanna take it off, it's so pretty. Oh y'all, yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you, I'll trade. Oh, I said I was gonna show you guys the 360. I'm sorry, let me do that first, okay? So of course this is her head on, her to the left, I mean to the right, in the back, and to the left. Now y'all know this don't make no sense. Mm, and the length is perfect. I am 5'10". The length is coming down to right to my bra strap, okay? So it's a perfect length. It does not feel heavy. It feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be too hot to wear in the summertime. Y'all, I rock this wig so fierce in the summertime. You can't tell me this is not growing out of my scalp. You cannot tell me this is not my hair. Let's put a bed on it. Let me tell you something. Everything, y'all. Oh. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the black one on and I'll be right back, so sit tight. gonna turn around and let you guys have a view of it all the way around before I comb the curls out because I didn't do that part okay but I'm gonna let you guys see it all the way around before I disturb those curls okay absolutely beautiful all right now when I put it on um, it's, it doesn't have me feeling the same way as the uh, chocolate swirl did because that chocolate swirl is just such a gorgeous color y'all and um, I didn't show y'all the stock card in the first one, so I am going to show you guys the stock card. It's not a whole lot to say. Of course, the unit is still the same unit, so it's not a whole lot to say in terms of, you know, anything different about it, of course, is they're the same unit. So I don't have to get into all the details with that one, but I am going to show you guys the stock card. Let me plug my mic in, y'all, because I forgot to do that once I unplugged it. Okay. So y'all, so here she is. So I am going to go ahead and run my fingers through here. Now this one right here, you can kind of see these baby hairs right here, y'all. I may just go ahead and lay those down since they're right there. Yeah, I'll lay those down since this is the last uh, wig that I'm reviewing tonight. I don't know, I might, lay, I might do another one. So instead, I'm just gonna lay it down with some of my even uh, 24 hour. Y'all see that? I'm gonna do it with this. I'm just gonna lay it down with some of this instead of doing like the uh, got to be glued or something like that or even the uh, ORS product. And like I say, y'all, I'm just gonna do a quick little swoop. I ain't trying to do nothing too fancy right here. But just wanna kinda give it a little something since the, since the baby hairs are down on this one. So you guys can get an idea but this hairline, y'all, is bomb again. And like I was saying, because of, I guess because maybe because of the color, because it's black and it's not brown, um, you can really see uh, how well it blends. And like I said, now see over here how it's light? Okay, so I'm gonna pull this a little bit more because um, like I told you guys, when I, the longer I wore the other one, the better it began to feel, okay? And I am going to, insert a couple of bobby pins in here and then we're going to comb out these curls y'all we're going to see what's happening with this one b y'all um i'll trade you know they just keep on they just keep on coming and, and i don't want them to stop i don't want them to stop you know my purse probably want them to stop but oh i don't want them to stop y'all When can I get this on as easy as the other side was? I think that comb is sitting right there probably. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and run our fingers through here. Oh, y'all, I'll trade what y'all trying to do. Oh my goodness, I don't know y'all. Now I said I didn't have the same reaction, but I just might. 
Mm, 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 mm. Well, see, you know, of course, one being one is common. So, but I want, I'm glad I do have it in a natural color because I would want this unit in a natural color. I can't see not having it in a natural color. I'm going to tuck this. Now I'll put that bobby pin in there. Maybe it wasn't in the right place. But, um, y'all, like I said, this wig almost has me speechless. It, with all that it it's putting out, they nailed it. Like, they nailed it. If you're going to do a synthetic wig, this is how you're going to do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this stock card. So, of course, this is it. The same picture that's on the back of the box. On the box, that is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Um, of course, this is the card for Chocolate Swirl. There's no difference in as far as what they have on the inside of the cards. It's either, either one. Both of them have the same thing, okay? So on the back, it has the other colors that it comes in, the special colors. It does come in a DRF F Red Velvet, which I do plan to pick up. It comes in a Ginger Brown. Uh-oh. DR Ginger Brown. Now y'all know I just took off that Ginger Brown in that outro and that's a really pretty color. I may mess around y'all and have this unit in all the colors. Cause I tell y'all it's, I'm just so impressed. I, it's so beautiful for a synthetic unit. You can't tell me that this isn't human hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this parting space again. Like I told you all, this is with my light color wig grip on and with some even spray sprayed at the roots. So I've already taken care of that, okay? And so the parting space, y'all, goes right over to here. So now I'm seeing some tracks right here. So your parting space is gonna be right over to about here if you want to do more of a deep side part. That's where it's gonna take you, okay? Wait a minute, y'all. Okay. Now, as far as the tangling and shedding, I have had minimal shedding and barely any tangling. Actually, I'm not really having any tangling, just a couple little snags as you run your hands through, but nothing too serious. But y'all, look at how pretty this wig is. I cannot get that bobby pin in the right place to save my life, y'all. But y'all get an idea of what it'll look if you look like if you tuck it. So this is with everything just kind of doing a toss over. Now you can actually do an actual part here if you want to, and just kind of wear it like in a center part. If you want to do that, you can. Okay. It's gonna rock whatever way you do it, y'all. She's gonna be pretty no matter how you rock her, she's gonna lay, okay? And she's gonna slay. All right, and so now I'm gonna, ooh, I saw something then. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, y'all, I'm, look at this wig, y'all. Look at this hair. Now you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. <sighs> oh, y'all, okay. So I'm gonna take it over to this side. Like that, ooh, woo, woo, woo. All this wildness, I'll rock it just like that too. Just like that, I'll rock it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see if I tuck over here what we working with over here. Now I had the bobby pin in the right place on that one. And that's too far up. But um, y'all, um, I'm not gonna go on go on and on with the review. I think I've given you guys all the specs and everything you need on it. Oh, y'all, if you're interested in it, you can go pick it up now. What I was saying, um, I don't have any cons really, except like I was telling y'all about, is the, the parting space. Now, these wigs are expensive. These wigs are running between 60 and $70 on websites. So this is a, a particularly um, expensive synthetic unit in my opinion it's worth it however you don't give us less parting space and then charge us more that's not fair that's not the way to do it if you're going to give us more and you're going to charge us more than give us exactly what we had before or more parting space they could have done a 13 by 7 if they wanted to whatever but don't take away from us and charge us more money okay that's my only gripe other than that y'all i'm very happy i picked these up as I told y'all, I'm sure I'll be picking it up in some other colors because this wig is just so, so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, y'all. So you guys, that is it for the review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
All right. You guys, I also want to let you know that if you're new to the channel, please make sure that you introduce yourself in the comment box below and let me know that you stopped by. If you're one of my old subscribers that's been rocking with me, you guys, I appreciate you all and your patience and waiting for me to come back. But I am back now. So here comes the sledge. OK. And also, you guys, I am my sister's keeper. And I always remember, you guys, that it's nice to be beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's nice to be beautiful, but it's more beautiful to be nice. Remember to spread sunshine everywhere you go. Okay. Have a good one. I love you, my queens. Bye-bye.